everyone welcome back to my channel today we are doing something a little bit different it is the day before my birthday and I decided to give myself a little early birthday present and I gave myself the day off from working and I'm just gonna paint I haven't painted in several months and anytime I go a while without painting like I just feel it in my soul if that makes any sense but my soul just feels sad and so I'm just really like just been feeling like the draw to just need to paint so that's what we're doing today and so I don't know if anybody follows me over on Instagram but someone had tagged me um, something that they bought for me a few years ago back in 2021 um, I had painted these little flower pots and that people use them for succulents and I had done florals on them and someone was like oh are you gonna do these again I didn't do them last year but it struck a thought in me I was like what if I do spring flower pots but for holding your bookmarks in so I got to searching and I found these slightly bigger flower pots those that I did back then were I think two inches or so so I found some four inch ones I already tested it it fits your bookmarks perfectly look how cute it's pink and I also have a white one coming in a few days but the pink one came early it's just the perfect size and I'm so excited I'm gonna show you my vision so I sketched this while I was having breakfast today. So I envisioned the book spines along the entire thing. So for example, here's the pot. So it's gonna be like painted book spines around the entire pot. And then I'm gonna have little flowers popping up and along the rim at the top, I'm gonna have vines and hearts. The lawnmowers are here. Hold on. What are the odds? What are the odds? All right, I'm back. We had a slight intermission, but I think they're done now. So yeah, I'm gonna be painting like bookmark springy flower pots. I have a couple different color palettes in mind that I wanna do. I even have like a late night reading one that I wanna do. Cause I mean, you guys know this by now, late night reading is pretty much my favorite theme to draw, to illustrate, to make products for. So I mean, how cute would it be? I think I'm gonna do it with the white ones, but like with the moon sitting down here, Actually, you know what? I'll probably have the moon up here with stars and books, and then I'll do clouds along the bottom so, like, the books are sitting on clouds. We're gonna make that happen. Oh, yeah, I think I'd, I didn't get to show you this before the video cut off. So, I was also very inspired because I found these gorgeous, gorgeous paint pens, and I am obsessed. I was on Amazon, I forget what I was looking for, but I just found these paint pens. And I had to buy them. I was immediately drawn in by this. But I just have to show you. It's beautiful. Look at these colors. Look. They're so beautiful. I can't wait to work with them. So that's what we're doing today. I haven't had you guys paint with me before. So I hope you enjoy it. It's not going to be the whole video. But it's just going to be the beginning part of the video. So I hope you enjoy it.
I got all the book spines painted so I have to let those dry originally I was thinking I was going to leave this top rim this light pink color but now that I'm looking at it I'm feeling like I want to make it a color to match one of these and I think I'm feeling blue for this one so I think we're gonna paint this blue So I have the books, I have the spines, well the spines of the books, and then I have some of the, like, I guess labels of the books, so to call it, and then the flowers. So for the line work, I'm going to move over to using these paint pens. So I picked these colors. I feel like they match the overall vibe of the flower pot pretty well, of the colors that I already used. So we're going to do some more detailed line work for these.
Okay, so I took a little bit of a lunch break and I, so the spring one is done and I wanna get started on a late night reading one. So the last one I left pink, but this one I think, let's see what color. This is navy. So I'm thinking I wanna cover this pink pot with navy. That way I have a darker base to work with and I'm just gonna do late night vibes. So I'm picturing like pinks, purples, teals, yellow, yeah, and moons and stars. So I have a vision for this, we'll see how it goes. But here we go. <laughs> painting but I didn't finish off the bottom like the other one I did where the books were like perfectly flush with the bottom of the pot and there was a reason for that so this is gonna be the late night pot and my vision for this is having like clouds along the bottom so like the books are just sitting on the night sky clouds so I'm leaving these unfinished because they're just gonna be covered with clouds anyways but in case you were wondering why I wasn't doing that that is why Got it finished. This is what it looks like. I got this like holographic shimmer stuff. I've never used it before, but I thought it'd be fun to have the late night design be glittery, kind of like the night sky. So I'm gonna try it. I'm a bit nervous because whenever I put something like this, over paintings I get really nervous that it's just gonna ruin the whole thing so fingers crossed that this goes well and it's just cute and glittery and doesn't damage it <laughs> you guys it's perfect I love it so much
happy Saturday. It is the day after my birthday. Yesterday was so much fun. My mom especially just, she goes out all out on birthdays and she just really made this day so special for me. And it was, it was just a wonderful day. And I wanted to show you guys my birthday book haul. And I get a lot of you guys asking if I can kind of share more about what I'm reading or stuff. And I was like, let's show you guys what I got for my birthday. So I got a lot of books. So these are the books that I got for my birthday. Some were from family. Some were from bookstagram friends that surprised me with things. So I got The Serpent in the Wings of Night. Now, I just listened to this audiobook. But tell me if you guys are like me. After I read an audiobook, if it is five stars for me, I like to buy the actual book and have it on my shelves. So I asked for this for my birthday and I cannot wait to have this on my shelves. Same thing goes with Say You Swear. One of my friends and also reps on Bookstagram sent me this and I've read this one as an audiobook end of last year. Fell in love with this so much. It was actually my number one top read from 2022. <laughs> And I cannot wait to have this beauty on my shelf and reread it because it was it was just a beautiful story. I loved it so much. The next one I got was The Fine Print by Lauren Asher. I have heard so many great things about this book and I have seen it just everywhere on BookTok, Bookstagram, Booktube. I have seen it all over and I was like, you know what? It is finally time to dive into this. So. I, this is one that um, I picked up from Barnes & Noble yesterday. I picked up three books. This is one of them. This is the second book that I picked up yesterday at Barnes & Noble. It's The Queen of Myth and Monsters by Scarlett St. Clair. And I read the first book in this as an audiobook last year. And I've been so excited for the second book. So I was like, I saw this on the Barnes & Noble site and I was like, I have to have this. And it has um, exclusive extra special content which we all love, so we're gonna see what that's all about. I cannot wait to read it. And then my boyfriend got me this Taken by the Fae by Jesse Elliott. I actually saw one of my bookstagram friends, she recommended this book on bookstagram and it sounded right up my alley. I love any books that have to do with like Fae romance, that is just my jam. So look how thick it is. I can't wait. I'm so excited. And then another bookstagram friend that I met several years ago on there and who has remained a very dear friend all these years got me uh, The Court of the Vampire Queen by Katie Roberts. Again, this has been on my TBR for a while. Cannot wait to read it. She was so kind to send me this. This wasn't even on my wish list. She just knows me so well. She's like, I knew you would love this, vampires and all that. And I'm like, you know me. So this looks so good. Let me know if you guys have, by the way, read any of these. And the last one. So I've been putting off this book. Like sometimes I'm like, oh yeah, I want to read it. And other times I'm not so sure, but it was for sale at Barnes and Noble. So I was like, we're gonna get it. So it's the Ice Planet Barbarians. I've heard a lot of mixed things about the book, but I know a lot of my friends personally have read it and just really enjoyed it and said it was just a very entertaining read so it was like special edition buy one get one 50 percent off sale why not so we're gonna read it and we're gonna see how it is I've, i think it's a series right so we'll see how it goes but those are the books that i got for my birthday okay so i got some new deliveries in the mail this week and i wanted to give you guys the first little sneak peek look at everything so the first thing, I was going to do like a big unboxing here on YouTube, however, I got too excited and I opened the box because I just had to look and it's so cute and it's actually two boxes, it's very heavy because I got so many of them and I don't have anyone here right now to help me bring them down to my studio so I just brought down one of them that I want to show you. So this is... A product that I've never had in my shop before but I have received so many requests to do this type of product. Presenting the first ever Emily Cromwell Designs sticker book! So I have a lot of people always asking for sticker books because they get a lot of my stickers and they don't know where to put them or they love them and they don't want to put them somewhere permanent and then want to move it again. So this, and I actually put one of my stickers in there to test it, is a sticker book with um, 
what's it called? Release paper. So, like, I put this sticker on here, like, three days ago. You can just go in, just take it off. You can move it wherever you want. And these are, are vinyl stickers, so these are, like, the stickers that really stick well. And I think it's 50 pages of just release paper. So I am very, very excited about these. I don't have a specific date yet when these are going to go up, but it will be sometime in May, and I will uh, post about it in advance um, on here and all my other social media channels to let you guys know when those are gonna be up. But sticker books are on the way. Okay, so I've got some unboxings to do. First up is more fabric for book sleeves. So in June, I'm going to be having four of my previously sold out book sleeve patterns restocked. I had everyone vote on them over on my Instagram stories. And these are them. Okay, so the first ones we have here is the, let's see if you can see this here, the Late Night Book Club. So I got sizes to do both medium and large for those. Because it's a uh, print, instead of a pattern these are a bit harder to do for the small sizes so i just do them for the two bigger ones but, okay that came out perfect we have these sunflowers i made the print a little bit smaller than what it was the last time i did these just because i felt like they turned out to be a little bit too big on the sleeves and so i made it a little bit scaled down just so you can get more sunflowers on one sleeve <laughs> And then uh, you'll probably recognize this. This is the pattern for the sleeves that I just did two weeks ago. And this is going to be back in June. And then finally, this is like, I think the top favorite one that everybody voted for is the Bookworm Essentials pattern. So that will be coming back as book sleeves as well. So all those will be back in this coming June. All right, and then we have a delivery of notebooks. I haven't restacked notebooks in a while, and believe it or not, notebooks are actually one of the most requested things people ask me to restock. So, because I am in my new studio, and I finally have room for more notebooks, I ordered a bunch, and I'm gonna quality check those, make sure everything looks good. Okay, so it has a sticker on the front. I just removed that. But first up, we have the Late Night Bookshop. Perfect. Oh, oh, wait, what? Oh, that bothers me. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, well, I was looking forward to this, but it looks like they told me the proof was perfect and this is very pixelated and not good. This is not the proof that they sent me. So these are going in the oopsie bin and I actually know I will just have to get them to reprint these. So that's a bummer. These are the ones I was looking forward to the most. What the heck happened? <sighs> that's frustrating. That is frustrating. You know what? <laughs> okay. Let's see how the other ones turned out. These turned out good. Bookish florals, that turned out nice. Okay, so let's see. So three out of four designs turned out good. I have some more flower pot ideas I wanna do. I wanna do somewhere it's like book spines but with strawberries like along the top and then maybe like one or two strawberries like along the bottom kind of like sitting in front of the books and then I uh, spent the morning at the local botanic garden today and I was really inspired by some really pretty tulips I found there so um, if you remember from my flower pot that I painted in the beginning portion of this video I did a daisy around in the front of the books but I was like maybe I can do some where it's pretty tulips in the front and then I saw some really pretty pansies I was like that could be pretty too so I'm just gonna let myself be a bit creative 
tonight, Saturday night. I'm just gonna spend it painting down here in the studio and listening to some music. And, and I know the whole first portion of this video was me painting and I don't wanna bore you guys with more painting. So I'm probably gonna cut the video here and uh, start it again tomorrow because I'm going to be taking pictures of the uh, new studio bookmarks with featuring Toby tomorrow. Uh, I was gonna do it tonight, but I just I don't have any energy, so I'm just gonna sit and paint. But um, yeah, so I won't bore you with more painting videos, but I will, if I finish it tonight, I'll do a few clips just to show you how they turn out. Today is Sunday and I'm going to be taking pictures of the new studio bookmark set. I'm hoping to get those listed by this coming weekend. So we're going to get those photos taken and I'm probably going to end up painting even more today. Um, I've been on a like flower pot just painting roll this entire weekend and I've just been having the best time with it. So that's what we're doing today. <laughs> So I wanted to show you guys the bookmarks. This is going to be the first bookmark in the set. And I can't remember if I explained this or not, but I had someone on Facebook ask if I could do a bookmark featuring my new studio and have possibly have Toby in it. And I had the idea, I was like, what if we take it like one step further and do an entire set of five of brand new bookmarks of different areas in my new studio with Toby in there. And it's going to be a limited edition bookmark set. It's not going to be carried in my shop. I think I'm only going to have one in my shop going forward. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be this one. Um, but the other ones, the only way to be able to get all of them is through a pre-order that I'm going to be doing. So today is taking the photos for those. And I'm probably going to have that up next weekend. But so this is the first bookmark in the set and this features my little kitty Toby when you first walk into my studio. So we've got the French doors on the side. We've got the rainbow rug that welcomes you in. We've got my inventory shelves, my little window, my pink rugs and my uh, framed puzzle bookshop that I did. I even, I don't even know if you can tell, but right here, I put in some of my bookmark designs. So I kind of have a few like little hidden Easter eggs in these bookmarks. So the next one we have, this is my bookmark corner. This is probably my most shown thing that I put on social media, but I have a rug down here at the bottom with a pillow I sit on and Toby loves it. So we've got him sleeping on the pillow and we have the wall of all my inventory organizers of my 200 plus bookmarks and I had to feature my rainbow lamp because that is a staple in my bookmark corner and I have some of my artwork at the top my polka dot decals and yeah that's this one next up we have Toby sitting at my work area so we've got him hanging out with this groovy vase that I got with the fluffy decor and we've got some floral wall elements and then I've got my little jar of paintbrushes because I had to include those in there. And that's the third bookmark. And this next one features my beloved pink couch and my decal walls. So this is my artwork that you probably saw in my previous videos, but I turned my artwork into wall decals and one entire wall in my studio is an accent wall featuring those. So I had to include that in a bookmark and Toby loves to lay on couches and I tried to capture how he loves to lay on couches in this bookmark and I'm gonna put a photo in here of him so he likes to lay like with his chin resting on the armrest 
and then his arm kind of like hanging on it and it's just the cutest thing so i'm probably going to put a few pictures up because you just have to see this cat and for the fifth bookmark we have my shipping station and i don't know if you guys follow me on instagram but those of you that do you probably saw i did a studio vlog with toby and i bought him this little kitty business tie and so I'm planning on doing some fun videos of him like working in the studio with me and so then I have all my packing bubble mailers and my custom tissue paper at the bottom here my pegboard my little shipping station sign I tried to really just include everything I possibly could on these bookmarks that to me just like really like makes my studio kind of like stand out and the special elements that I really love of it and I tried to highlight that so I hope that comes across in these bookmarks and I hope you guys like the extra little touch of Toby in there. Well, that was kind of like a little short and sweet uh I was gonna say order packing. We were not packing orders we were photographing things. Short and sweet photo shoot today. I am going to be painting more flower pots right now. Bookmark pots, flower pots, using it interchangeably. Um, my camera battery is very low so not going to be recording that but um i'm thinking i'm going to film again tomorrow on monday because we are going to be packing orders as always and starting to work on um, packing up the orders from my birthday sale so i will see you guys tomorrow and yeah see you then
Okay guys, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the painting segment in the beginning of this video. Let me know if you guys want to see more like artistic process type things like drawing, painting, stuff like that. And, and just in general, like do you like order packing videos more? Do you like just seeing what goes on in my small business artistic life? Do you like actually watching things come to life through drawing and painting? Um, or the ASMR aspect of packing orders. So let me know what you guys like best. So I will make sure to fit that stuff in more while doing my studio vlogs. And I will see you next week. And again, thank you so much for being here. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.